So this is the Mayflower mine. It's hard to tell because the uh, video is in two dimensions, but this is where the entrance to the mine was. And then it ran down. I said the tracks. Sorry, I'm excuse over me. Tracks ran down there. You can see some of the old timbers and such you know, living in here. The tracks ran down here to this. You can see all the water down there. And then this, this is the bunkhouse. Go in there. It's a little bit precarious, but we'll, uh, We'll make the most of it. This is, uh, people refer to this as the Rat Shit Hotel. And so you'll see, uh, that's what they mean by welcome to the rat. I should say rats. A lot of, uh, a lot of snow here in the winter, and so. People come up here on uh, snowmobiles in the winter and uh, come inside here. The old bunk out here, the old wood stove right there. Better roll chair and table. It's too, uh, too dark to see anything in this room, but there's some firewood stacked in here. I don't know what that tank is about. But yeah, it's well named in regard to the rat shit. Certainly no shortage of that. Go up the stairs. And more rat shit. Here's a view out across the, uh, it's all Onion Valley out there, and then you can see the, the tailing piles from uh, the Mayflower Mines. A lot of different fingers. No wasp right there. Which is another one up there. Um, shoot, there's wasp all over up here. Um, as I was saying, a bunch of different fingers of um, tailing piles that go out in the mine. So they, uh, they redirected the mine. I don't know what the hell that is. More rat shit. Another room. Oh yeah, you can see more of the fingers and tailing piles I was referring to. I guess there's one advantage to having the window broken. So... This, oh, I didn't see this the first time. I can't reach up in there, but I'll stick the camera up there and see if the camera can get anything. Doesn't look like it. Well, I'm probably stopping the outside. It's got the peaked roof. So that's the, the Mayflower Mine and the Rat Shit Hotel.
go out the front, show you, try and show you guys the bunkhouse from a different angle. Justin, that wasn't me. He clamped his vitus. There's my buddy Chuck. Looks like he uh, digging out the uh, out of it a bit. Which would be cool if we found something. Or, I mean, we know if something's there. It would be cool if uh, we were able to open that up a little bit. Anyway, I'll cruise down here. Let's see another. You see those timbers come down here. Like this another view of the bunkhouse. That's the dog panting like that. That's not me. This must have been a trash pile for them. It's kind of the old trash things like that here. Bits of metal. The barrel down here. Another bit some metal. I'm just cruising down to the tailing piles and then I'll swing around and uh, show you a uh, different perspective of the bunkhouse. We're up really high. I don't know what the elevation is, but we gotta be at six, seven thousand feet up here. Man, you're breathing like crazy. That's uh, Pilot Peak right there. That's some more old equipment here. Okay. It says, tailing piles there. Tailing piles here. Tailing piles here, really evidently. Tailing piles there. And then another big one there. So they uh, they moved a lot of ore out of the Mayflower mine and part of the track. Here, another view of the bunkhouse. And all the We'll wrap it up by uh, cruising around back in here. Oh, good light right now, okay. That's where I went in. This is just right off the uh, Quinchley Port Road. It's really easy to find. If you know it's here. The light's bad right now. So, I'll just wrap it up with this. This is the, uh, the claim marker that is uh, in place right now. <laughs>